Ebeke, who is an African affairs analyst and based in Brussels. Collins, thank you so much for your time. Uh, listen, first of all, tell us about Dos Santos and his cronies, the allegations against them, the misappropriation of public funds that's believed to have gone on. How much do we really know? Uh, well, not um, as much as uh, is out there, because um, essentially the uh, Dos Santos uh, dynasty, political dynasty, had uh, actually captured um, uh, Angola in such a manner that, um, you know, it was getting uh, very, very uh, difficult, maybe even impossible, to uh, have a grip on the extent to which they have, uh, you know, converted their uh, public assets into private uh, assets. Now, uh, one curious uh, thing about um, what is now emerging is the fact that um, the current president, uh, Joao uh, Lorenco, uh, was supposed to be an ally of, um, you know, the, uh, the former president, uh, Dos Santos. Now, it does look like uh, he couldn't have, um, you know, become the president without the uh, active support of uh, Dos Santos. Well, uh, obviously, he has changed his number since uh, becoming president and has uh, actually started following uh, the lead, you know, uh, in terms of the investigation and leading them to all the crimes committed by uh, the Dos Santos uh, family and now uh, actively bringing them uh, to books. Yeah, you're right, because uh, people are amazed that this trial of the son of Dos Santos is actually taking place. As I said, a famously corrupt country, and now there might be some accountability. But apart from accountability, what about getting the money back? Do you think there's any chance? Well, it does look to me like um, a good start has been made. If the report that uh, we are getting is, um, is correct, uh, I believe that uh, Britain has actually um, returned the uh, half a billion um, dollars uh, that is, uh, you know, in discussion at this uh, particular moment. Now, that is a clear departure from the way things have uh, gone on in the past, because um, obviously, uh, corrupt African leaders have uh, found, um, you know, safe uh, hiding places in uh, Western countries where they keep their money, and uh, you know, the uh, lack of cooperation from uh, Western countries to return this uh, money have always been uh, an issue. But uh, from if the report we are getting is correct, um, things are developing in a more positive manner now. Um, there's still a whole lot of um, you know investigation to go uh, that, that will go on. Uh, the daughter of uh, Dos Santos um, is uh, under investigation. She's uh, temporarily left the country and is in the UK. Now, it is also claimed that Dos Santos himself, the former president, um, is out um, on uh, medical uh, treatment abroad. Well, some are speculating that uh, he may not return back to the country, that he's gone on exile. Uh, there are indeed emerging signs that wherever the money uh, that uh, they took, the public asset, uh, are, they are going to be found and look set to be returned to the people of Angola. Uh, Collins, can I ask you a broader question regarding Africa? And I've just picked out four names of leaders. Museveni, Bia, Kagame, Debi. And uh, roughly, I would calculate that they've been in power collectively for more than 100 years. Does Africa have a problem in terms of leaders not wanting to step down? And does it need an African spring for that to happen? Well, I hope it doesn't uh, come to a situation where the African spring, uh, you know, takes place for these leaders to begin to uh, relinquish uh, power. Now, let me take um, uh, the president of uh, Rwanda as a clear example. Mr. Kigami is someone that is uh, very highly respected, has been efficient, and has indeed transformed his country. Now, does that mean that he is the only one that has the capacity and the capability to transform and go, uh, sorry, uh, Rwanda, and, uh, you know, keep it uh, going in the right path? Certainly not. So the time has come for people like him to begin to work on their succession. What is his succession plan? Now, Changing the constitution to give himself unlimited, uh, you know, terms of office, uh, tenure of office, is unacceptable, and that is essentially what has been happening in um, a number of other countries. Yes, um, one would hope that the current leaders would begin to voluntarily tender a succession plan, because if that doesn't happen, 
I believe that the restive uh, youths are becoming more and more impatient, and inevitably, the uh, African spring may not be uh, very far from our beds. Thank you so much, Collins and Weke, uh, with that analysis from London.